What time is it, honey? <laughs> Big nap. One in the morning. I'm tired. Watch out, there's butter on it. Okay. Let's go home. I'm tired. Let's go home. I am so exhausted. <laughs> it's been a really long day. I'm gross right now. I feel disgusting, but I'm too tired to care right now. Ugh, that's cold. Today's kind of a laid back kind of day. We got out of the movie late last night. I don't think we went to sleep till two in the morning. And because I was so tired, I didn't wake up till close to noon today. Um, I know that's kind of bad, but it's my last day before I go back to work tomorrow and I just want to relax. I had a really good birthday. I, I think it was one of my favorite birthdays so far. Uh, so right now we're just going to go do laundry. I'm going to try to do as much vlogging as I can, but don't be surprised if this is a really short vlog. Your Manny haircut? My Manny haircut, yep. Yeah. That's what it looks like without jail. <laughs> Cowlick? Is that what you call it? Yeah. We're at Cracker Barrel right now. We're just kind of looking around because we're waiting for our order. Look how red my face is. They're getting ready for 4th of July. Ooh, how pretty. Look at that. <laughs> Look. These are so pretty. Look how pretty these pens are. Sam's grandma's neighbor has a peacock. These would be a good idea for the feathers. Pretty. My aunt Georgia loves peacocks. Cracker Barrel. You guys, I'm cutting it really close. Look what time it is. 10.29 p.m. and I'm starting to move day seven over to quick time. And today is May 7th, so this has to be up before midnight. Otherwise, I fail at the challenge. <gasps> Will I do it? Will I be able to do it? Will I succeed? We'll find out. Got the thumbnail made. I still don't like doing thumbnails, same as last year. Ugh. This little guy is trying my patience. I can't put blankets and like doggy beds in there because he either rips them up or he pees on them and poops on them like within the hour. So he has this for now. And people have been inquiring about him, but nobody's really, really said anything. He's a good looking dog. Oh, Tommy, you know that already. He's tired because he's been up to no good all day. 
Okay, so the upload is starting. It's 11.13. Uh, I'm worried that it's not going to make it before the midnight cutoff. It's only at 8%, but I just started. If that's correct, I have 19 minutes left, but I don't know if that's accurate. Oh, come on, you can do it, video. So it looks like my video made the midnight cutoff. Right now it's... 11:47, and my video has been up for a couple of minutes now so thankfully it made the cutoff honestly I don't like that I'm uploading the last hour of the day for that specific day I don't know what's going on with me yesterday and today well yesterday we were traveling and today I don't know for some reason I thought I uploaded today though and I had to ask him did I do my upload he goes no and that's when I started my my editing and stuff. I don't know what it is this year. I feel like I feel like this year's videos aren't as I mean not that I'm saying that last year's were you know crazy entertaining but they feel different this year. I don't know what it is uh, and I'm kind of frustrated about it. I don't want to go back to work tomorrow because I've enjoyed all this glorious time off that I've been having and it's so nice and to go back to work tomorrow. The work week starts tomorrow for me, which, you know, just suck it up. Just go to work, do your time, come back, and repeat until it's your weekend again. <sighs> Tommy is, he's asleep right now. We used to give him blankets and, you know, a doggy bed for him to sleep on, but he doesn't do too well with them for some reason, and I feel really I don't like the fact that he's just sleeping on a pee pad, but I mean, even the pee pad, he rips it up and his blankets, he tries to rip those up and I'm like, Tommy, just calm down. Just calm down, Tommy. I don't know what it is with this little guy. He has an event here in about another two weeks. If we still have him, we're going to be taking him to that event and hopefully he'll get adopted. And I feel really, really bad that I'm really looking forward to him getting adopted. But we were told that Tommy was calm when we were gonna, you know, when we were thinking about fostering him. And he's not calm. So he's not calm. He's really energetic. And we are not. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying I'm hoping that he gets adopted soon or at the adoption event and I feel really bad that I mean we let him out we roam we let him roam the apartment we take him out he goes in the back and during the times when he we need him to chill out that's when we put him in his crate and of course during the day when we're gone or at night when we're asleep the thing with putting him in the crate at during the day is it's only during the time when nobody's home because I don't I don't like putting him in his crate for longer than than he really has to. The thought of him being in a crate for six hours really upsets me, especially during the daytime. Nighttime it's a little bit more it's different because everybody's asleep and he's asleep. But during the day I I really, really try not to keep in keep him in his crate for more than a couple hours when you know, when we're at work. But that's the only way to keep him uh, out of trouble when we're not home because he chews on things, he'll pee on things, he'll pick on the girls, he'll try to play with Bandit. Not that, you know, I think the girls or Bandit are going to hurt him, but I mean, they get frustrated with him. Even though Tommy's just playing with them, they're just like, leave us alone, we're old fogies, leave us alone. I'm trying to get in as much vlogging as I can before midnight because I feel like I didn't do too much today. I didn't start vlogging till four o'clock today and we did laundry, we got dinner, we came back and then it was time for bed. I had a really fun birthday weekend. It was really nice to do stuff like that because we don't really get to do stuff like that anymore when uh, we were able to travel more. We were all over the place. That was because we had, you know, Sam's parents to watch the dogs. And there was only two at the time. It was just Bandit and Hercules. And now that we are fostering and um, we have Franny now, 
we have three of our own. We have Bandit, Phoebe, and Franny because we decided to adopt Franny. I'm afraid that she wouldn't make the trip because the trip from Arizona all the way to Canada is going to take a couple days. And, you know, when you're trying to make that trip really fast, you don't have time to, you know, soak dog food so that it's soft. And her jaws is already broken. Um, she's got the heart murmur. She's old. And I was afraid that she wasn't going to be able to survive the trip. So rather than risk it, we just decided to keep her here with us and make her part of the family, which, I mean, she's fitted right in. She's really, really calm, and we need to work on her potty training because sometimes I think the old age doesn't allow her to make it outside. <laughs> Not that she's purposely peeing on the floor, but sometimes I think, I mean, like with, with people, they can't hold it, you know, old age type of thing. So... Um, and her and Phoebe seem to be getting along, along a lot better because before they despised each other. Well, more Franny than Phoebe because Phoebe's, you know, she's everybody's friend. But Franny, she's an old fogey and she's set in her way. So she was really territorial with Phoebe. She didn't like Phoebe coming up to me. She would growl at Phoebe and snap at her. Now it's a little bit more better because... I'm having them sleep in the same crate and those two I feel like they bicker like sisters already you know like sisters that share a room because they'll kind of growl at each other and they eventually get over it and go to sleep uh, <laughs> so that's why I say they bicker like sisters so they're starting to get along a lot better bandit he just goes with the flow bandit he just goes with the flow. Whatever we decide, he's like, yeah, okay, let's do it. And um, he's the biggest of all the doggies right now. And I'm just really glad that he's mellow and he's calm and he's house trained. Like, house trained. So that makes me feel a lot better. But yeah, we have three doggies of our own right now. Plus Tommy, so that's four doggies in the household. And... Sam and I joke around that it seems, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, um, Ace Ventura, is it, was it the first one, Pet Detective, when he's, when he's, oh, hold on, when he's trying to get into his apartment and he goes like this, like a signal to all the animals, he goes tch, 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 like this, and then I think somebody comes into the apartment and he sees that there's no animals and they go away and he's like come to me my animal friends and they all come around him that's how I feel right now because whenever we come home all four of them just run to me and it's I mean this is one of the things that makes it you know being a dog owner so much worth it is that they're always so happy to see you even if you've only been gone like an hour they're like yeah I haven't seen you all day I don't think dog, dogs know how to tell time. I think there's been a study about that. I remember watching a few. But if you're wanting somebody to greet you every time and just be so excited and happy that you're home, get a dog because you won't worry about it. They'll be so happy to see you every single time and they'll just shower, with you, shower you with unconditional love. Honestly, I don't think from now on, I don't think there's ever going to be a time when we're not going to have a dog. <sighs> makes me sad though because that means that the ones that we have now are going to be gone because sadly dogs don't live forever and I don't want to think about it I don't want to think about it I guess I should go to bed now guys because it's almost midnight I'll see you guys tomorrow